Hello family, we thank the Lord, we bless him for his goodness. Today my prayer this Easter Sunday for the people of Hungary is that they will experience resurrection power in that nation and particularly in the lives of believers. Before I pray, my passage of scripture today is Luke chapter 24 from verse 1 to verse 12. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared, and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel, and they, as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and on the third day rise. And they remembered his words and returning from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and the other women with them who told these things to the apostles. But these words seemed to be to them an idle tale and they did not believe them. But Peter rose and ran to the tomb. Stooping and looking in, he saw the linen clothes by themselves and he went home marveling at what had happened. Father, we want to thank you today as we celebrate Resurrection Sunday, as we celebrate, Father God, the truth of everything Jesus had said to his disciples before his death, that he would die and that he would resurrect. He made the people understand that he is the resurrection and he is the life. And Father God, it was demonstrated, Father, even through the scripture we've read today, that when the people went, they saw that Jesus was indeed no longer in that tomb. And the confirmation came, Father God Almighty, by those angels that had appeared to let them know that it wasn't because somebody had come to steal his body at all, but that he had risen not by human wisdom, strength or power, for indeed human wisdom and strength cannot resurrect from the dead. It is only you, the giver of life, the author of life, who can give resurrection. And so Jesus demonstrated it when he by himself, though he may have been bound and, and, and wrapped up in those grave clothes, when he resurrected, the Bible says that even when they went, the very cloth, that they saw was by itself lying in that tomb. We thank you that therefore today across the nations, as many believers are celebrating Resurrection Sunday, we're celebrating that which we know for a fact happened and has been recorded for the benefit of those of us living in our generation so that we will know that whatever else we've read in scripture is not a fairy tale but it is truth. Therefore, today, as we lift up the people of Hungary to you, God, our prayer is that, Lord, they will experience resurrection power. Resurrection power is that which is able to cause that which needs to be brought back to life to come to life. And therefore, Lord, we are praying that as a nation, Father, whatever has died, Father God, in that nation, that is of your perfect will, that it be alive, Father God, whether they be virtues, whether they be even, Father God, physical things, Father God, in the lives of individuals, Father God, and in the nation as a whole, we're asking that this Resurrection Sunday, may the power of resurrection, Father God, permeate every sphere of life, Father God Almighty in Hungary. 
We're asking the Lord God Almighty, whatever has died spiritually, Father God, in that nation, Father God Almighty, that needs to come alive so that the power of Christ and the love of Christ will be seen and made evident that righteousness will be exalted in that nation. We're asking that let resurrection power, even, O God Almighty, bring that thing or those things back to life in the nation of Hungary. That God, this Easter season, it will be one of a difference for we're praying that there will be a spiritual shift, Father God, in the spiritual atmosphere of hungry, Father God, that no longer will people, Father God, be celebrating and, and practicing religion on this day, Father God, but they will encounter Christ, that their focus, Father God, for Easter will be that which is based on Scripture, recognizing that Jesus, our Savior, died and he rose again, that, the, that they would see Seek to know Christ and the, to know the power of his resurrection in the name of Jesus. Father God, do a new thing in the nation of Hungary. Do a new thing in the lives of believers in Hungary, Father God that they will be fully equipped to God, that you will pour upon them a fresh anointing, Father God, necessary, Father, for the move of your spirit that we've been praying for and other people have been believing for in that nation, that there will be an awakening, Father God Almighty, that that form of religiosity, Father God, that has caused people to be bound, Father, will be broken off, O God, of the people of Hungary in the name of Jesus. Let the light of Christ shine forth like never before in the lives of believers in hungry God. That darkness will no longer have its hold over that nation. We give you glory. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse. 1 Corinthians 1.18 For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. We're personalizing it by saying, For the message of the cross is wisdom to me. But to us and to those who are being saved, including me, it is the power of God. The Lord bless you. Let's continue to thank God for the incredible gift of salvation that he's given us through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And today, I just pray that anyone who needs the touch of God, who needs to experience resurrection power in any area of their lives, that today the Lord will visit you. I'm believing that for myself. Let's also stand in agreement and believe that for friends and family and people that we know who need a touch of God, even in this particular season that they find themselves in in their lives. The Lord bless you and I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen.